slicing up these here strawberries, cleaning them up. What are you gonna do with them, Mom? Why? Oh, baby, you always look good. We're gonna make preserves and maybe make syrup out of the tops. We've seen a thing on the online for making syrup, we'll see. We purchased these from Keys Farm Supply in Grayson, Kentucky. They uh, got the strawberries from a friend <clears throat> that they do business with that raises strawberries. Local farmers helping local farmers, and uh, here we are. Okay, most people already know, but what are we doing here? You Some done? Strawberry. You done? You done? Washed them, right? Yes. You cut the tops off, which will go to make them syrup. You cut any bad places off, and they go down here. And, Crap pile, right? Yeah, for the hogs. For the hogs, so we don't get wasted either. Put your good strawberries over there. And what next? Cook them? Yeah. All right, I'll get some video of that. Okay. The owner of Keys, which I used to work with the husband years ago, is Jason and Hannah McGlone. And they are friends with the Cornette Farm Fresh in London, Kentucky. These are where the, the strawberries were raised. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Give a little shout out to all of them. Looks like they've done a really good job. And, uh, give us a good deal on the strawberries. At least I thought so. How many buckets you tell me to get? Two. I mean, again. Four. I think we'll have enough. I don't know. I think you might need to like get some more. They're open. I probably can. I'm going to take a little break. All right. It's time to put the strawberries in. Here, Mommy, you ready to put the strawberries in? I'm not eating this from the side of the Trying to do what? You're in the light. Oh. That's going to be a pot of strawberries right there. You think I'm going to do that? <laughs> I guess it's a damn sound. Yeah, you know, well. Are you done with this? Uh, I think I'll get another pot. I don't want to overload it. I have one in here. I have one in here. Is that a bigger one? Blue. Blue? Back on the back. That means you have to pull them out. Oh, I see. get some of this on him because see so you doing something yeah it's quite fun what are you doing with that i'm gonna rinse it out i'm done washed them them's all been bleached what, that one was washed i know you just have to be trying negative ghost rider what i said negative ghost rider <laughs> Some paint on this guy. I can't see him. I'm like, turn around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
compression. I'm doing a fine job. Come on, good work. Give me that. <laughs> oh. Treat that though. Yeah, you said. That is what you're supposed to go by. Don't tell you who. So just to clarify, we don't really have a recipe to go by. We do, but our measurements are off, so <laughs> we're just gonna go. <laughs> Yours with. might be mine. <laughs> <laughs> So we got plenty of sugar and plenty of water, plenty of pectin, and we're gonna go with it till we get it, right? Okay. All right. I mean, a masher. A masher. You got a mashed strawberry inside of me. <laughs> Good run through a food processor. Dirty up some more stuff. Process, you know, it. Yeah, so don't do that, folks. Just don't pay no attention. I'm just being silly. Yeah, because you don't cook. But I don't cook. So you got your smasher in there. We're going to smash them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you put your head in there. <laughs> <laughs> I got a taste test on that first. How much sugar are you going to put in there? That's where I think it tastes good. Well, that was just on accident. Oh my goodness. That was on accident. <laughs> Maybe that pot might be sweet then. <laughs> I'm trying to get it off salt. <laughs> say diabetes. Don't forget your ovens on. This ain't gonna be an instructional video. Uh, so, so far we have strawberries, we added a little bit of water, we added sugar, started cooking them down, and then added more sugar as needed to get the flavor we want. Which my wife likes everything very sweet. So, we're cooking now, she's preparing the jars. Uh, and we will be canning. We, uh, I think, we still got to add pectin to the uh, preserves, and it, I think the recipe actually calls for some cornstarch, but I don't know that she's going to use cornstarch, and it also calls for lemon juice, which she's allergic to lemon, so we ain't getting lemon juice. Getting your pectin ready. Is there any other ingredients that you know of? Okay, uh, I, I mentioned that. And this stuff here, are you gonna put any of it in it? See how it turns out. I don't think we're supposed to put in the jar. Okay. It's just used to help preserve the color. Mostly. Steer it up. No regular. 
reggae song. Steer it up. You're laughing on the inside, ain't you? I don't know the song, so. jail soon. What we do is as we stir it, we watch that jail. We want it to slide off. Can you turn it off? I think so. I think it'll jail. So we ended up using two packets of sugar gel, right? Yeah. I'll set some outside. Water bath. Alright, so we got the first batch of jam preserve, whatever you want to call it, here, waiting to be in the hot water bath. Second batch still cooking, and the wife is starting the syrup. syrup. I'll try to get a picture of the recipes should you choose to. Go buy a recipe. <laughs> so this is the syrup. After it's strained, I didn't get that part on video. We just took a strainer and poured through it. And then the rims go into the hog slot bucket. It won't fit in my, my other thing, so I have to, oh, I to see. keep following them. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Careful. Has the preserve started sealing yet? Some of them have, ain't they? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, all right. I don't know if it's going to or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching.